Hey everyone, welcome back Forensic Education. I'm Mike McCutcheon. Today I'm just going to go over some of the things I keep in my fingerprint kit. Um, this is like my essentials that I have. We go all over the place teaching forensic science teachers and police officers, detectives, and I always get the same question of what do I need? What, what should I have in my kit? So this is uh, the kit that I use and I'm just going to show you some of the basic essentials that, um, that I like to have. So the first thing I have in here is my gloves. So um, this is just a small bag of gloves, but you're going to go through um, tons of gloves. You want to change your gloves all the time. Um, as you're going through, you're just going to be discarding these left and right. So you want to make sure you have enough gloves. Since it sits the, um, in the bin here, I just put them in a Ziploc bag so that way I can store a bunch of them in there and I don't need the box. So that's going to be the first thing. Um, I also have uh, my different powders. So I have uh, my white powder, I have my black powder. I also have the uh, two fluorescent powders. So I have a red powder and a green powder. So I have those. And um, I also, this is a magnetic powder. Um, I usually keep them down here. I'm gonna show you that stuff in a minute. But this is my uh, magnetic powder. Since it's larger, I do keep that one up top. And I have another green powder. Another thing that I keep up top is my diff lift uh, tape. This stuff, so let me open up that. The diff lift tape is fantastic. This is for textured surfaces. Textured surfaces is actually it is a gel tape. So it's a thick gel. So you can really push that into the crevasses of the different things. So this works really, really well. Um, for lifting that stuff. So I like to have some of that. Um, let's see, lots of backing cards. So I got all kinds of backing cards here. Um, white, black, some with scales on them, some without scales on them. You're gonna have, uh, again, this is something that's cheap. It's inexpensive. You wanna make sure you have plenty of backing cards because while you're out there, you don't wanna be stuck and, and not have your backing cards. Couple little things. I have some silver plate. These are just little silver plates. Um, you can actually see that I've used these uh, to lift fingerprints off of bodies. So I keep those in here just so I don't lose them because it's kind of a small item that I don't use very often. So I do keep my my silver plate. Big thing here, friends. You need your magnifying glass. This is really really important. Um, when you're developing your fingerprints and you're trying to go in close, if you're just squinting and looking at it, you're going to miss evidence, I guarantee it. You really need a magnifying glass to uh, get in there nice and close and see if you have uh, any of that friction ridge detail for what you're looking for. So definitely, definitely need, definitely need those. Uh, let's see, I have... Uh, a couple of gel lifters. I do really like my gel lifters for footwear. And then I also have um, my roller so that I can use my gel lifter with my roller. I roll that on my um, uh, my footwear. I peel this off. I'm going to put that on my footwear. And then I have that. So I definitely want some gel lifters in there. Uh, let's see what else. I have little mini stickers. These are just little scales. I like to use these these little scales here. I'll put them in the close up here so you can see how small they are. Um, but I like these for my fingerprints. They're uh, small little scales and they work really, really well. Uh, so we want those. I have a couple of uh, miscellaneous things, some mirrors, maybe to see uh, underneath uh, door handles or underneath a car, something like that. These are going to be very, very good. So if we could take care of that, that would be great. Um, I also have two other things here. These are very, very important. These are one of the most important crime scene fighting kit uh, tools you can have in your kit. And that's just plain old sticky notes. Now, if you look at these sticky notes, they have a little heart on the bottom. I wouldn't normally suggest you have that. I picked these up at the dollar store and I didn't realize that they had a heart on them. Uh, so I do have those. And what we're going to use those for, if you watch some of my other videos, I have, um, I show you how to map out, like if you had uh, bullet holes or blood spatter 
or lots of fingerprints, how are you gonna organize that? And so I would use these and not use that one. I would use these to map out A, B, C, whatever uh, pattern you have. And then I like these little tiny ones. And then you can do, you can put an arrow on them. If you wanna do an arrow, you can do A1, A2, and then put that along with your evidence. So uh, definitely have some sticky notes in there. It's gonna keep you organized when you're looking at your, um, when you're looking at your other stuff. Now, um, now we'll get really exciting here because we're gonna actually look at what I keep down here. Now this is like a, a tackle box. Um, I'm gonna kinda scoot all this out of the way. And what I have in here is I have my markers. So all different color markers, like I said, for marking that um, your notepads. So you definitely want to have your notepads. Um, I also have the um, tape for lifting your fingerprints. Have the tape. Now I don't see that you have uh, scissors in here. So what I like to do is I just pull a piece. I fold it over into a triangle. And then you just give it a rip. And now you have your piece of tape. You can lift your fingerprint. And then you'd be able to put that on your backing card. So that's how I do keep my tape in here. I have a couple of different kinds of tape. Um, this is a polyethylene tape. If I can find the beginning of it. This tape is going to be used for uh, curved surfaces like light bulbs or something like that where you can see it really stretches so that's going to be able to help you oops that's going to help you um, when you're using the curved surfaces and you, and you want to pull that tape around it so you're going to want a polyethylene tape I also have different magnetic powders I showed you I have magnetic powder in here as well but I have a dual use powder, I have a black powder, I have a white powder, I have a couple of different magnetic powders that I keep in here as well. All right, now for the exciting part. Okay, I'm sweating so much because I'm so excited about showing you what's in this next one. Do you know what it is? All right, here we go. Here we go. So in this one, this is all of my brushes. This is, you really need to take care of your kit um, you should keep it for yourself. You don't want to share it with anybody else because uh, they're going to mess it up. They're not going to keep it clean and you will need to take care of your things. Like I said, I use this box. I got it from Lynn Peavy. But if you didn't have the means to get a full kit like this, get some type of tackle box, put some cushions in there and make your own kit. But brushes, very, very important. You need to keep them clean. You need to take care of them, put the covers on them. Um, so I have different brushes. I have ones for white powder. I have ones for black powder, gray powder, and these I keep for my fluorescent powder. I showed you I, I keep a couple of fluorescent powders. So I use a feather brush with my fluorescent powders and I just uh, correspond the color of the brush to the color powder that I'm using. So obviously this would be for a green brush. And then I have uh, my orange brush, my red brush. And one of the things, oh, I also have my overtime brush. So this one is just a very small, just a very small brush. It's very soft, but you're gonna do that, you, uh, use that to really get that fine detail that you want you can use that overtime brush. I call it the overtime brush because it's really small and it'll take you a long time. So if you're on overtime, use this brush and it'll take you longer. And what I have in, in the top, I have uh, in the bottom, I have all over the place are scales. You want to have a dark scale and a light scale. You're going to use that for all of your pictures. I showed you that I have different scale tape. Um, if you want to put some foot scales in there, you definitely need scales in there. It's really, really important. I'm making a mess here, but you, you definitely, definitely want to have a scale. Uh, and then the other thing I have, and I think I missed it when I was in here. Um, 
that's in one of these is I have hinge lifters. So when I show you the tape, what I didn't show you is I keep a pack of hinge lifters in there. Um, I like the hinge lifters because you don't need a backing card. It's all self-contained and you just pull the uh, protective layer off. Get it here. You pull that protective layer off. You lift your print. You can seal your print right in here and it's all in one. It's protected and you don't need a backing card. So I, I do like those. Um, I use those primarily more than I use tape. So that's it. Okay, friends, that's it. That's all I have. This is my kit. This is what I use. These are the basic essentials that you need. You're going to find other things that you want to have in your kit that you like. Like I like the battle light. That's my alternative light source, which is um, it's portable. It's small. I really like that. I keep that with me. And I do have some other things, but this is what I usually will bring out. And then you look professional. You have all your stuff. You don't have to look for it. You know where it is. Um, that's all I have. Follow me on Instagram. It really helps me. We're trying to really push that and reach out to people with Instagram. It's Forensic Education on Instagram and Facebook. So please go ahead and follow me and share that. Um, also, if you haven't liked these videos, I mean, come on, subscribe. That helps me out as well. The majority of the stuff that I got from here, this kit is from linpv.com. So you can check out linpv.com to order all this stuff. And you can check out all of my videos on my website, forensiceducation.net. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.